horrific and pointless. Um, <laughs> but all the things that he stockpiled in March because of COVID, he can use as art now, so that's cool. That's kind of cool. Um, so cool. they're working together to, to teach us why millennials are stupid and and enlighten us, I should say. And maybe they will. I would be interested to hear what Mr. Karkner has to say. <laughs> so Eric Cameron, Gord Karkner, welcome to the team, guys. If anyone happens to hear uh, or know these Eric and Gords, have them contact us. Uh, there's a wild long list of them that we have showcased on the show, and we've never heard from any of them. But Mr. Cameron, Mr. Karkner, please, anyone who knows them, have them get in touch with us at ericgord.com, and we'll send them Eric and Gord merchandise that they can say is theirs. They can go, yeah, this is our stuff we made. <laughs> that's just a kind of genius. We made this just the, for just for our get together. You're part of the Eric Gord Club now. It's a good club. There's some <laughs> good is. people in it. There is. It's true. Very always exciting, interesting people. Actually, one of them just popped up again. the The ones who work for the Nova Scotia or New Brunswick Chamber of Commerce or whatever. Oh, really? They got something going on. I didn't have time to read it, but they're back in the news. So that's they're cool. They're back that at it. We maybe is it because of us? Can't say it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, certainly cannot. We started talking about them two years ago, and all of a sudden, they got something new happening in New Brunswick. Nothing happens in New Brunswick. No, You're they've welcome. never had anything ever once ever happen there. I should. I would like to change the name of this show. I should just call it You're Welcome. <laughs> Eric and Gord, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that comes off as really arrogant. <laughs> right? Holy shit. Especially when you say it the way I do. Right. Eric and Gord, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Maybe that'll just be the new tagline for next year. Eric and Gord, what if we're right? You're welcome. <laughs> I fully support this. <laughs> listen to the world changing. Don't just listen to the world changing. Be a part of it. Sign up at ericandgore.com. We've already got two signed on. So there we go. Hey. Two guests coming up in the next couple of weeks. We might have to do a weekend special show. I might have to ruin your schedule for you for Mr. Casey Gonzalez. Yes. Who would like that. to make another appearance? And one of my personal favorites, a great podcaster, nice guy, just a good human being, Mr. Matt Plotner. He um, has the uh, uh, anger management. He's got a podcast called That Anger Management Crap. Which he takes very seriously. He had anger issues in the 90s, and he has since dealt with them. And is now a, uh, a counselor, an anger management counselor. And it's a very good podcast. It's He helps a lot of people, actually. Hmm. Uh, anyone who listens to Eric and Gord and maybe gives a crap about me might remember I did a podcast with him some time ago called uh, Is It Philosophy? Yes. And... Um, I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we we did a podcast about the golden rule, and it was very interesting. Really great guy to talk to. Super smart and just cool. I had a tremendous amount of fun on his show, and he would like to be on our show now. So that's neat. Yeah. Um, that he is, is not cool. He's not as, like, he's not the tight ass he comes across as, as, as in that show. He's actually, he would love to get on a Eric and Gord style show and just fucking go wild, so. <laughs> we are definitely the platform for that. That's a place. We can be serious. We can be not, we can be whatever you want. We are okay. the Eric and Gord, what do you want podcast. <laughs> We're here for you. Whatever you want to be, that's us. But we've kind of stepped away from the guest thing. We haven't had one in quite some time. I I, I thought it would be a good idea to. Spice it up a little, because we're getting repetitive. No, not us. A little bit. No, not us. No. <laughs> no, not us. <laughs> why about, <laughs> that's why I brought some news to the show. <laughs> so if you want to be a guest, ericgord.com. And if you know an Eric and Gord team, uh, ericgord.com. Or always, of course, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all the usual suspects. Um, or you can type me up an e-message. And shove it right up Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina at gmail.com. 
Oh, Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina really gets abused quite a bit. I will be retiring that email address soon. Please don't. <laughs> um, I want to keep that as a constant. <laughs> there's just nothing else really that I that's as good. Like I don't I don't just create emails for the fun of it. It's like it's got to be something that like this needs to be an email. <laughs> I just love that fact that it's just one little story on the podcast. Bam. It spawned an email address for the last fucking almost year. <laughs> I think that my actual email address is I have a bunch of them at gmail.com. <laughs> Which email address? I have a bunch of them. I have a bunch of them. <laughs> at gmail.com. No, oh. is it? that is it. <laughs> All right. A story that obviously because of Nashville hogging all the press time. Mm -hmm. Something else happened on Christmas Day. Oh. Sorry, Nashville, but you're not the center of the world. <laughs> well, Fucking your non-terrorist bombing. Um, way up north, about 90, mile, 90 kilometers north of Trail BC, which is getting up there north-wise. Mm -hmm. This is about middle of the province, kind of. In a town called Silverton, BC, on Christmas Day... Four hikers came across what is indisputably the Bigfoot. Oh. Uh, they saw him go running into the woods. Um, and they have his tracks. They saw a lot of his tracks. And the, uh, let me get this, the Bigfoot Research Field Group, who's our thing, they confirmed that there's no way this could possibly be a hoax. The tracks could not be fake. They're unhoaxable. So for a various bunch of reasons, these are not hoaxable tracks. They are legit Bigfoot tracks. So these four hikers Christmas Day were out enjoying a Christmas hike, saw Bigfoot, and he was up, up northern BC. Now, just this past Wednesday... The Washington State Department of Transportation cameras caught the creature crossing the border into Washington. <laughs> what? <laughs> so he's on camera. Um, obviously, he was heading south when the hikers saw him. And he has now crossed into Washington State. Um, the Department of Transportation has him on camera. The video is being analyzed to make sure it's not a tree or a beaver or a car or a guy in a hoodie or any number of things it could possibly probably be <laughs> but um <laughs> shit really kind of weird that he would be seen up here on christmas day and then you know a week later he's he's down there he's on the move <laughs> i guess mating season's coming up maybe he goes south to mate i don't know <laughs> i don't know but I, very uh... cool very cool that this is still a thing that people do <laughs> they they find they they look for him and there's groups that actively are seeking this creature. I am trying to find. There's still shots of the video. Just can't seem to actually find the video itself. And it's pretty Look clear to me that that's just part of the tree. If you're looking at the still shot, I think you are. Which I don't. I'm not going to pull it up. But I saw one picture where it, it's pretty evident. It's just part of that tree, or it looks like a shadow, or like it's. I don't believe it's a um, giant monster well i mean sure it's an outline of a person nothing about the outline to me looks anything like a sasquatch it just looks like a guy in all black um that's both racist and really <laughs> defeatist <laughs> well i am you know what i'm more surprised about with the image what I'm more uh, that I think is more more imp impressive is the fact that there's a glowing red light coming from the middle of the tree. That yeah, for me said, asks more, or produces more questions than a shadow figure off to the side of it. It's Rudolph hiding. That's what I'm thinking. He didn't go back with the other ones this year. <laughs> He's like, "Fuck this COVID shit." Well, the funny thing is, is apparently there's. Another picture from the same traffic cam and taken. Uh, how long does this say here? Uh, January twenty second. Oh, same same day, hours later. 
same video feed. You can tell the road has been driven on more, but that shadow figure is in the exact same spot in the exact same position. Because <laughs> he's hiding there. Yeah. It's one of those things, if, if, I, if I don't move, then I'm invisible. <laughs> they won't they won't see me. So, yeah, it's the base of a tree. That's what it is. I, I cannot confirm that. I, I have no reason to believe it is not a Sasquatch <laughs> yet. I have no, I've not been given enough information to fully convince me that it's not a Sasquatch. Drunk. I just told you. <laughs> well, I am not convinced. I need the FBI to analyze this thing for five years. I need a TV <laughs> special about it. I need a Netflix special for sure. Oh yeah, I forgot about that thing. Yeah, <laughs> one of those. Oh man, I'm not convinced. I've never been excited by Bigfoot. I don't care if he's real or not. Really, if he is, I think we should leave the poor bastard alone. Yeah, I fully agree. Um, on the other hand, I want to hunt and expose Ogopogo. That's been my lifelong dream. <laughs> Very important that I prove Ogopogo's real Bigfoot. You 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 get a pass on this one. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm I'm like I'm with you. Um, I just never really cared. So there's a giant hairy creature that walks around in forests and avoids people. Good for him. Yeah, he's he's doing it right. You know what? I bet you he motherfucker don't got COVID. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> no, no, probably doesn't. And that's why he's out wandering around. You don't see him wearing a mask. You know why? Because he's not an idiot and he doesn't watch TV. Yeah, right? <laughs> there you go. Way to go, Biggie. You get to be the, you're the new Biggie. You're the new Biggie you, Smalls. You're Biggie Biggie Feets. Biggie Feets. <laughs> Biggie Foots. Um, Biggie Foots. I like him. He's a good Hey, speaking of the rappers, I wasn't gonna bring it up, but Dre's all in court again. After his aneurysm, the the uh divorce hearing just isn't stopping. Oh, man. You'd think she'd give him a bit of a break on that one for a few days. No, he was very abusive, and he gets no breaks. <sighs> he chased her around in the 90s, and early 2000s, I guess, and hit her or something. Said he was going to hit her. Mostly said. It was mostly verbal. And he will pay half of his billions and billions of dollars. Ah, well, She's... he... He he has that fucking clause he got. Um, he made her sign before they got married. That he claims that he was forced to he was forced to make her sign it by his lawyers and everybody else in the music industry. Sort of thing told him if you don't do this, you're fucked. You got to do this. And then apparently it was like X many years later he uh, ripped up his copy of it, saying yeah, this is well, no voice. He ripped up his, his copy, but you know the fact that his lawyer still has the copy. <laughs> Well, it doesn't seem to be doing a hell of a lot of good in court because he's not winning. No. Oh. Yeah, but he's home now and he's doing better. Well, I would say he's not doing a lot better. He's, <laughs> he's I, got a huge net worth, and man, I hate to see his. I hate to see her have to get it all. If you get married, don't invent shit yeah. afterwards. Don't make a mediocre headphone and sell it to apple for a billion dollars <laughs> um because she will get it she will just get it whether she did anything in her life or not now i don't know if this woman contributed in any way whatsoever to to his fortune i my gut tells me probably not um you know it's like jeff bezos wife who now gets a hundred thousand dollars a day or something stupid she yeah. had nothing to do with his money. She didn't make his money. She didn't help with the company. She didn't fucking deliver packages when it was just a tiny little book thing he ran out of his garage. <laughs> she, but she gets half. That's half. how it works. Yep. So I've gotten accustomed to a certain lifestyle. So, well, now you've lost that lifestyle. That's what getting divorced does. I got accustomed to having a wife that bangs <laughs> me every night because I'm a billionaire. <laughs> it's just I've never understood that that's I just I can't get over that that's an argument that I, is that allowed. should be an argument for me not being homeless uh, yeah. well I've become accustomed to this lifestyle now you can't just throw me out of course they fucking can that's not a fucking argument in any other <laughs> realm of the world 
That's no. a stupid goddamn... Well, I'm accustomed to this. Well, you don't have it anymore.